We are here again with a fabulous Jen Klein. We are learning the first grade project, Mitten Bowl. Winter Mitten Bowl. Okay, so you're gonna give every kid a, a hunk of clay about the size of a tennis ball. Um, you can give them more and they'll just have extra scraps on their table, but it's easier, if you don't have to cut all the clay, it decreases the amount of air pockets that get in the mushed up clay and the air pockets are what can make things explode. So anyways, so you take your clay and you're gonna plop it down and you're going to start in the middle of the clay and rock your roller back and forth and you're going to flip it over because the clay, when it's fresh, can be very, very sticky. So you're gonna roll and flip. What's that, Kaya? You know this. What's it called? Roll and flip, that's right. My beautiful assistant today. <laughs> so we're gonna keep rolling and flipping until we get the desired thickness we want. And to teach the kids how to measure the thickness, we're going to have them hold up and show us their clay rulers. Kaya, can you show me your clay rulers? Do you remember? Can you show me your clay? There it is. Always have your clay ruler with you. So you're going to keep rolling and flipping. And then you're gonna take your clay ruler and you're gonna measure. And for the kids, it should be about the size of their pinky, for me a little bit less. And once they get that, make sure, pick it up, make sure it's not stuck on the last roll. And then you're going to get hand out templates. Oh, I didn't go quite big enough. Dun, 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 dun. All right, there we go. And we are going to cut it out. And we're cut doing that it with out. a toothpick. A toothpick, yes. You can pass out toothpicks and plastic knives, and the kids can choose which tool works better for them. Some like having the big handle of the plastic knife, and others like the fine point of the toothpick. Either one is totally fine. If the children start asking you for help because they're getting frustrated, please try to encourage them to keep trying. It does not have to be perfect. Okay, so now that you've got your mitten cut out, you're going to write three very important things on the back. And this is when you remind them that you're going to write very gently and you're not gonna push all the way through because if you push all the way through, it could break. So you're gonna write name and the room number, which I don't have right now, and the year for nostalgia's sake. So they, parents can look at this in 10 years and sob. All right, so <laughs> then they flip it over and then they get to decorate it however they want. Um, Typically, I just have them draw. They can make a pattern or they can write a message to mom or dad or grandma or whoever they're gonna give this to. And let's see here, I'll do some snowflake things because it's winter. Ding, 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 ding. All right, and then once it's decorated and it's finished, you put it in a bowl and you just push down ever so slightly. Mom, I'm done. Oh, okay, great. That, yeah, looks, awesome. that looks awesome, guys. I've been working on the snowman over there. So then, once it is drying in a bowl, you set it in a drying box and it will dry like that. And then when it's done. And it dries like that for approximately two weeks. Yep. Yeah. And then when it's done, you can, it'll, it'll release very easily from the bowls and you sand them and fire them and paint them. Perfect. Sounds great. Thank you.